I have a feeling that y'all people are foul and you want me to jump into this immediately. It says bio, food, maggot, and flies. talk about today's sponsor the sponsor of today's video is ridge that's right i've been using the ridge wallet now for a little bit over a month and for me i don't ever you've never seen me guys bring products to you services products whatever unless i use them myself first and actually get into them and um, i've been using this thing heavily now my previous wallets were actually much fatter and, and i'll show you because i have duplicates but this was uh, the previous wallet, right? Which is still fat and cut with all of the stuff that I really didn't need. Now imagine this is how big it was before, right? This is where it's at now. I have my my uh, military cat card is in here, my driver's license, um, all of my relevant stuff is right here, which allows me to do, you know, what I need to do, like be able to get my credit cards. It's actually super simple to use. Just by pushing right here, they even put a little mark right here for you to do it. You just push right here. It gets you easy access to any of your cards. You can fan them out, pick which one you need, slap it back in, and you're good to go. And what's cool is if you go over to ridge.com forward slash TK's Garage, they have a very special offer for you guys. They have a lifetime warranty on these things. They're just, look, all I can tell you is this. Between the money clip or using that to just clip on my belt, which I can do or clip it here on the lanyard. Like if I need quick access to the cat card, if I'm on post, that's it right there. I love it. It's absolute beast. Highly recommend them. And you guys should go check them out. And I truly appreciate Ridge for sponsoring today's video. So ridge.com forward slash TK's garage, go over there and tap in today. Now I have a feeling that y'all people are foul and you want me to jump into this immediately. It says bio, food, maggot, and flies. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm looking at this one, but I don't think, uh, I don't think I can get into this one, guys. I know y'all want, oh, okay. See all them flies? Oof, oof. Boo. Mm. God, boo. Oh. Oh. All right. That was absolutely disgusting. Whew. Not prior to that at all. Ah. Oh. Maybe that's why I'm losing so much weight in these Copart walk-arounds, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, jump into this. Look at this big old Peterbilt right here. Looks pretty clean. Wonder why it's here. Looks pretty clean all the way around, actually. Let's climb up into the cab and see what's up. stinks a little bit not horrible plastic over the bed that sounds great all right let me make sure she's in neutral mm. Ooh, i like the seat let's see if she fires up shall we it runs And it runs. Let's see if the air pressure gets up the snuff. Air pressure is rising. 
on the primary. All right, we're out of the red on primary. Let's see if the secondary will raise. Let's see if this AC works. Oil pressure looks good. I wonder why this is here. I mean, it's got 1.3, say it with me, 1.3 million miles. Million. 1.3 million miles. I mean, that's, that's insane. 1.3 million miles. That is a lot, a lot of miles. And this thing runs, man. This old Peterbilt still runs like a champ. Wow. All right, secondary air pressure went up. She, look at what she's shaking. She runs good. See if the brakes work. Try to bleed those down. Yep. Just trying to see what it is that why it's here. You know what I'm saying? AC is half ass trying to work. But it really ain't. All right. Well, it runs. That's the crazy thing. She does run and drive. I wonder, I mean, maybe it's here because it's got 1.3 million miles. I guess that's a possibility, right? 1.3 million miles. Huh. Not a bad looking truck either, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, that's why. Look at the damage right here on the front. I was like, why is it here? It hit something. So just that and the mileage totaled it. 2011 Peterbilt. Crazy though, right? That's crazy. Well, on to the next one. All right. Let's see what's up with this Pro Star Eagle, shall we? Interesting. Big old heavy. Something's on over here, like the batteries are dying in this RV. Huh. Let's see. Ugh. Ooh, it smells like... Uh, ain't took a bath in five weeks in here whoo she's got power one point two million miles on this one fluid low brake air it's starting to come up bolts look good oil pressure looks good she runs I mean, what else do you want big old international boy AC works on this one though. <laughs> works good too. Woo! Eh. Let me know what you guys think about this one. 
God damn. Whew. Man. <laughs> Smells like Paul Malls and raw butthole in there, man. Whew. Take a walk around the rest of it, though. She looks good. I don't really see any significant damage. It's crazy. It could have maybe got sideswiped or barely tapped or touched. And that's enough for them to uh, total it out when it's got 1.2 miles. 1.2 million miles, you know. And I'm willing to bet that's probably what happened to this one. Yeah, that right there. That's all it takes, man. Just a very little bit amount of damage. All right, guys, next, we'll take a look at this RV with the beeping alarm system and see she's got power. What the hell the problem is? Oh. It's literally just because the battery's dead. Let me see, oh, the battery's dying. Let me see if we can get her to fire up. It'll get her to be quiet. And if not, it is what it is. Ooh, this old Ford, baby. Mm. Let's go. She runs. Runs pretty good. Now it's got damage right there. That window. So it hit something up top. That's what totaled this one. Crazy, man. That AC is ice cold though. I'm going to enjoy that for a minute. But she's pretty clean, man. She's pretty clean. That annoying buzz would get on my nerves. And I know it's just because the battery's dying. We'll let this thing run for a minute and charge the batteries, and then uh, I'll come right back. All right, guys, we are back. I let this thing run for a little bit, but evidently there's a problem with the charging system in the rear. Even when I tie the systems together, yeah, even when I tie the systems together to try to help it charge this rear power, it's not working, which tells me there's something wrong with the, with the system, so... And there's no way to really turn that off. Huh. Oh well. All right. Well, I'm gonna close her up. It's got plenty of battery power. That's what I don't get. The rest of the outside of the RV looks clean, man. So I really don't know what it's doing here for real. I don't see what its uh, reasoning for being here would be outside of that front window getting hit. But a vehicle like, an RV like this not getting repaired, that had to be a very expensive windshield. Oh, it hit the roof. Never mind. I didn't see the roof was caved in. So maybe a tree or a pole or something fell on it. Still, I'm surprised they didn't fix this. Very surprised. I mean, it is an 08. I get it, but damn. I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments on this one. All right. All righty then. We'll walk down the line here and see if we see anything on the uh, truck side that might be interesting. Oh, looks like we got an advanced life support ambulance. That might be interesting. Huh. Let's take a look.
looks like they took the lights and stuff out of this one already. It says tow. Maybe the motor just blew up on it and they gave up on it. But you can see where the lights have been peeled out here on the side. Uh, auto parts service sale. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, there's a bunch of engine parts in here. I'm going to guess that she doesn't run. Let's go to the back. Wow. Almost like they were stripping this one. Interesting. Very interesting. Love fleet vehicles from AT&T. They run forever, man. All right. Well, the back part, you know, where they do all the work, looks like it's pretty damn clean. I don't really see any craziness going on in here. The sharps container is full over there. That's concerning. I wouldn't mess with that. But this is cool. Huh. Interesting. Well, let me know what you guys think about the uh, ambulance in the comments below. All right, guys, before we get out of here again, as we did at the beginning of the video, I, I definitely have to spend, thank the, uh, thank the uh, sponsors of today's video, and that is Ridge Wallet. You guys can go get the uh, very same wallet that I have here or the multitude of styles. They even have gold. Check this out. They even have gold-plated Ridge Wallets gold plated are you kidding me so go check them out you can get a, a discount if you use the code tk's garage or if you go to ridge.com forward slash tk's garage you could pick up one of these and save some money over what you would normally pay at retail the biggest thing for me though i want to talk about one of the most important features of this right here is the um, rfid blocking ability of this wallet which means like if I was just walking around with, you know, what's in your wallet in my pocket and uh, somebody has like a scan tool or something very similar to like what we see when people steal challengers and chargers and hellcats um, and they're just skimming for information, your card literally could be pulled, stolen. Um, what I like about this is once I put this in here, a couple different things. It protects my military CAT card. It keeps my CAT card safe. It keeps my, uh, my license doesn't have RFID on it, but all the credit cards that have that wireless, that tap to pay, when they're in here, you're good to go. Nobody's taking the information. You can't tap this, um, you know, somebody can't tap up against this or walk up against you and get your payment information out of this wallet, which I love. And, you know, it also holds a little bit of the cash. But anyways, just one of the features, again, I wanted to cover on it. One of my favorite features on it. Go check them out. Ridge.com forward slash TK's Garage. And um, go pick one up. Because, you know, it's the sponsors like this that push our channel or promote our channel. that allows me to continue to keep doing what I'm doing city to city and state to state. And we uh, truly appreciate Ridge Wallet and their sponsorship here on this channel with that said guys i know you guys are probably like how did you go from this super red beard to this this was just a content that i've had sitting that we've had stacked up for a while mm -hmm. but i wanted to get out and if you guys have been watching the youtube short that came out know, a week or so ago that's doing ridiculous i think we're at like 125,000 views or something mm -hmm. on that one um, I wanted to publish the full video so you guys could actually see the full semi truck and everything else, as, as well as the nasty trailer and all the rest that you guys have been following me on Instagram at uh, TK's Garage have seen what, almost a month ago. But anyways, um, with that said, I want to thank you guys uh, very much for coming in and uh, hanging out today. Smash that thumbs up button if you haven't already, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one go get this wallet just 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 go get one